as simple as this for Scotland win and they qualify for the European Under-21 Championships in March. No other result will do that for them. A win would put them level on points at the top with the Czech Republic. It goes then to the head-to-head. -head. Scotland with a win and a draw in their two games to date. Eight of Scotland's starting 11 based at home. The other three are the south of the border on the continent, and those three are playing first team football regularly. It's a brilliant ball inside by Conor McLennan of Aberdeen. The one change in the side today. Alan Campbell popping up in the middle. Got the head down well, McLennan. Won their first group game 5 0 against San Marino. Won three since, all by a goal to nil against Lithuania. Scotland, San Marino, all away. Alan Campbell of Motherwell got the ball forward well. Hornby controlled it, but couldn't quite finish it. Fantastically prolific. Four goals in his last three internationals. Didn't net a tie in Castle last week. Cigaris. Been a one club man all the way with Pauk, club different to his brother, they've never been with the same side. Lovely flick, first time effort, almost put away by Botos, and that's a warning. And they did that so swiftly too. Janis Botos, who's never scored at under 21 level for Greece, but he scored in the league. Scotland putting some decent early pressure on. Lewis Ferguson of Aberdeen is over this one, the Young Player of the Year for 2020. Third season as a regular for the Dons too. It's got plenty to aim for. It'll fall for McLennan. Elected against taking a shot first time. It might be the right option. Diamantis cut it out. Corner. Well stopped. Could have had the early pop, McLennan, but too many bodies between him and the goal. Back by Sigaris. Christopoulos, who might have been expecting to have a quiet afternoon up somewhere, but called up at the 11th hour by Janus Gumas. Katranis, the captain, and on the overlap too is Botos. He's good at getting into dangerous situations, as we saw earlier! And Greece are in front! Timos Christopoulos, the man who's been called into the squad at the 11th hour, pops into the right place to put Greece in front. So much for a quiet afternoon off for him, are they? Scotland defence. Christopoulos came out of absolutely nowhere. That was a very good move, but Scotland had plenty of men back. A swift first time ball in by Katranis. And Christopoulos turns it in. Not to have done more defensively. Looks like there's going to be some length on this. And there is from Maguire. Got the slight flick on. It's come all the way to the back post invitingly. But Glenn Middleton pulled it across. Scotland's best chance since the fifth minute. Scored against Croatia at Tyne Castle at the weekend. Only the slightest of touches by Hornby, then the more solid one from Johnson and Middleton. Needed a better connection than that, but at least Scotland are creating again. Well cut out by Ross McCrory. Man who was given his first Rangers start in the old firm derby against Celtic back in 2017. Dean's books now having scored against them a couple of seasons ago. While and blue. Harvey. Good ball down the near side for Glenn Middleton. Maguire arriving in the middle. And Maguire! Met at first time, but again not on target. It's a good first time effort too, but it was asking a lot to squeeze it in from there. 
Good first time effort. Excellent ball by Middleton. Just wide. Poked at it with the left foot. Two goals in his previous eight internationals, including a 7 0 win away at San Marino. And suddenly it's opened up again, and that could have been two, and that would have finished it, surely. It opened up for Bottos. Has come close already once in this game, early in the first half. And early in the second, Ross Doon has needed to pull off a full stretch save to turn it out. This is where Scotland needed to be. Hornby! Forced the save out of Siampanis. Scotland's first attempt on target. Another free kick for Scotland, seven minutes and counting. It's open up for Hornby, and it might fall for Turnbull. Scotland have a corner. That's the point in the game now when they need goals. Sending plenty up, they have a crowded area the way it should be. Headed away by Kutsayas. And though it may leave their defence stretch, they really have to keep a lot of men up to. Here's Harvey. Real up and under, they've four or five waiting around the edge of the area, and it's offside, flagged by Stefan Luzzi. And we're down to six minutes to go. And the way it stands, they'll have done the double over Scotland for the very first time at under-21 level. Scotland have got time, not very much time. Ferguson over the free kick, and that's clever. Hornby, well blocked. Porteous was up there. Fiorini, deep one, good one, and the header downward by Porteous, who wasn't going in. Hornby there, flicking, but not finding Porteous a second time. Harvey will be onside, it came off a Greek defender. Here's McLennan, good ball in, chance to equalise right at the death. Hornby was there, but Sian Pena saved it. And Scotland are out.